putting trust in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Thank you for hearing and reading God's holy word. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for standing and reading of the word. We have a little slogan that our pastor had for this 12th anniversary. He did it before. I want you to say it after me. He did it before. He did it before. And he'll do it again. He did it before. And he'll do it again. And that's what he teaches us today. See, that's what you got to have the word.
coming down this tunnel, break your hand and with us. Thank you very much. At this particular time, we're going to call Pastor Arthur Todd to come up and give us an expression to Pastor John. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, yes. I'm sounding loud. I don't know what to But we thank God today. We give Him honor and glory for what He has done in our lives and how He has brought us. Each and every one of us have a testimony of this great God. And we don't have to be excited to talk about it. Every morning when we get up, we have something to give Him glory. No, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Today to, to just to let the Lord know how good He's been. Yeah. Not only has He kept our household, but we looked at our neighbors. Yeah. And we've seen how He kept this. Yeah. Yeah. So we just yeah. give Him glory today. Yeah. Let's give the Lord a hand.
my honor and privilege to be able uh, to come and uh, say a few words. I was asked by the congregation a number of years ago. Uh, Pastor Jones and I met and we instantly connected because he is a brother with a kindred spirit of ministering to the people here in Niagara Falls. Uh, a number of years ago, I was called to come and plant a church here in the city and to, to minister to the people uh, that are broken and to bring the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to these streets. And, and so when we met, his spirit and, and my spirit connected because we were all in tune with the same spirit, the spirit of God, and we have the same mission and same goal. And we. Our churches have, have actually become sister churches, and we, we share together a ministry. And it has been my privilege and honor to come to know this man of God and his lovely wife. Yes. And to be able to share the word together. And I, I am excited to, to be here and to help him celebrate he and his wife uh, 12 years of ministry here in the, in the city of Niagara Falls at uh, Grace Calvary Church, Church. And along with understanding there will be many more. And, and uh, I have a word from, from 2 Timothy. Said Paul was at the end of his life and, and this was his swan song and he's writing to his younger brother. And, and I know that Pastor Jones is a little bit older than I am and you've got more years in, in, in ministry, but, but uh, we have the spirit, and I think that the words apply, and he says, Paul writes these, it says, I'm reminded of your sincere faith, and that dwelt first in your grandmother Lois, and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure it dwells in you as well. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flames the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hand. Yeah. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, dynamic power, and love and self-control. Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who saved us and has called us to a holy calling. He has called us to a holy calling. And I know that the, the call on this man's life is strong and powerful. Amen. And I, I come and uh, we do an afternoon service so I have a chance to come and, and sit under his teaching sometimes in the morning. I love listening to, to him preach because I know when I come and he's speaking, I will always hear the word of God yeah. from this man. I will hear a word that is going to edify and build up. And, uh, and I'm privileged to call him friend Amen. and brother in Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.